Good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on September 19th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And yes, we've had a pretty busy last 24 hours for earthquakes. Some pretty strange places, too. Carlsberg, Carlsberg Ridge, uh, 5.4 today. And also a 4.4 in Somalia. Hmm... Right on the tectonic plates there, boys and girls. The Indian and African plate line. Hmm. So yeah, definitely watching the earthquake, earthquake situation. We're going to have an uptick in seismicity as we have this next coronal wind stream coming through. It is earth facing. So things will be definitely ramping up over the next 36 hours. Stay aware and prepared. Indian Ridge. Also, Greece still going off a 4.5 and a 4.4. Cato, Greece. But that 4.4 in Somalia, hmm. I'm definitely going to be researching that. We got 4.4 and the 5.4 in the Carlsberg Ridge. So just going to show the last 36 hours for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes recently. Fiji region. South America. Costa Rica. Mexico. Deep earthquakes. What comes after very deep earthquakes? Larger, shallower earthquakes. So stay aware and prepared. I'd say South America still. My forecast. South America. But North American plate is still pretty quiet. A lot of earthquakes in the Alaska, Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. And just like yesterday, I had posted in my video that there are 39 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. It's the last seven days for earthquakes now. So pretty busy the last seven days. A lot of deeper earthquakes, numerous deep earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared. I'm not here to scare everybody. I just want everybody to be awake and prepared for any kind of situation when it comes to extreme weather events, earthquakes, any disaster from around the world. Looking at the precipital water map, and you can see there's no more uh, bzzzt, but there's also no more hurricanes. Uh, the only anomaly here is cold air coming in from the north and really ramping up extreme weather events as it converges. The intertropical convergence is going to bring extreme, more extreme weather events. As you can see that large northern push, a lot of cold air coming down from the North Pole. Looking over the Atlantic, it's still a large system brewing. And I believe it is Tropical Storm Isaac. You can see just behind just east of the storm is that dust storm that the Sahara's blew into the Atlantic and now are pretty much on the Caribbean's doorstep. I'd like to invite you all to join us tonight in the live stream. I will be live on Milky Way Weekly and also live on Morning Dew for Weird Weather Wednesday with the World Weather Warriors. So please join us for that, 8 p.m. tonight, Mountain Time. Overlooking Super Typhoon Nankut. It is a low pressure center, area of interest on the tropical storm watch. And you can see it is bringing tons of rain to Northern India, parts of Pakistan. And then later in the week, intense and heavy, heavy snowfalls 
in southwest China. Mongolian mountains get ready for a dumping of a lifetime as Meng Kut is heading north and you can see that black that is heavy heavy snowfall probably three to five feet of snow so stay aware and prepared southwest China Wow that is gonna be an intense snowstorm overlooking Europe and Tropical Storm Ali and downgraded Tropical Storm Helene set to join forces later in the week but Ali definitely packed a punch hitting the United Kingdom overnight last night lots of videos popping up all over the place strong winds heavy downpours but in the next couple days watch for Ireland and eastern parts of Europe as Helene heads in North America cold trend cooling trend continues large low pressure center developing central United States heading northeast now this is going to be a storm to talk about as well as it brings extreme thunderstorms to parts of northwestern Ontario and northeastern United States as it heads northeast but it's also going to bring heavy winds rain and then snow for parts of Quebec so yeah very heavy snowfall already in northeastern Canada as Quebec is gonna get hit this week and Alberta has already been hit they were hit a week ago 20 centimeters of snow falling in Grand Prairie so area of interest here Pacific Ocean possible another typhoon developing large low pressure center developing daily so be on watch Philippines for another typhoon heading your way in the next seven days parts of Australia very dry and cool very cool nights I'm sure in southeastern Australia a lot of blue popping up there and still very dry desolate drought stricken Africa we need to do something about this folks we need to get together pull together now is the time there are enough resources and enough time and space worldwide for everybody to survive stay aware and prepared folks much love coming from Meteo Mike with Morning Dew stay young and have fun and get your morning dew please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.